Hi everyone, it's Shai Schwartzman with the Done For You video and audio marketing system and today I'm very excited to welcome Rudy Kasuma to our Best Practices podcast. Rudy is the team leader with Team New Vision with Remax Platinum and he's, uh, his office is in Rosemead, California which is just about 10 miles uh, from downtown Los Angeles. He's been a Platinum member for over three years and he's a real power user when it comes to the ultimate converter uh, for sellers, buyers and recruiting. So without further ado, I'd like to welcome Rudy. Rudy, welcome to today's podcast. Hey, good to be here, Shai. Thanks for having me. Rudy, let's get into it. You've been using the converters for how long now? Uh, it's a little bit over three years now. What about the converters did you like? Or what about when you first saw the converters, what did you like about the program? What did you see the potential in the program? The converter helps to pre-sell the system, right? So before we show up. Because in the past three years, I have not showed up in any buyer's appointment or listing appointments or any of the recruiting events. So I need to make sure that when somebody in my team, when my partners show up in that buyers or listing appointments, I want to make sure that everybody's getting the same consistent message. So the only way for that to happen is that then we need to have a system in place so we are, our business is not people dependent. So we, we try to make it system dependent. So, so this is one of the way we, we use to pre-sell the prospective buyers and sellers getting the same message. You have uh, the, the seller converter, you have the buyer converter, and the recruiting converter that you're using as part of the, the ultimate bundle. Now, Rudy, tell me, when do you use or when does your office send out the converters? What are some best practices on the seller side now that you could share with us? So when we receive a listing appointment, so when we have a seller's call, uh, once we book the appointments over the telephone, so what we do is we tell them that, look, I'll be sending you an email information about the home selling package on your home. It's going to be receiving, it's going to be by email. So it's kind of like an email confirmation. So, and then on the email, basically we put, uh, we'll, it's, you have a template on it. So basically, uh, so they're going to see that we're going to meeting you next week, for example, at three o'clock, next Monday at three o'clock. So, and then we can see when they watch the video, we, we, we also receive a confirmation from, 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 from online here saying that they watch the video. So basically we send out the email as soon as we hang up the phone on, on both buyers and listing appointment, the same idea on the buyer side, same thing. Uh, as soon as we talk with the buyers, we make them the offers. Would you be interested to receive a list of homes? My list includes bank foreclosure, short sale, corporate own, as well as homes that's not on the internet. They say yes. And then we ask, when can we get together for about 20, 30 minutes with Monday or Tuesday? Once we hang up that appointment, once we hang up the phone, uh, then basically we send them this email. Before I use this, I used to just send an email saying that, hey, uh, looking forward to seeing you tomorrow at 3 o'clock. But now, uh, but now people get more useful information other than, hey, this is just to confirm our appointment. And what differences have you noticed with sellers and buyers? What differences have you noticed since using the converter, uh, the ultimate converters, and also sending them out right away once to confirm the appointment? Two things going to happen. Number one, they are more likely to sign up with, uh, they, they're more likely to sign with us at uh, at, high, uh, at, at, at my price, right, at our fees, which is uh, more than the uh, average uh, agent in the area. And number two, on a buyer's appointment, uh, they're more likely to show up in that appointment itself because now they know, they can, you know, so we entice them, we give them compelling uh, reason why they should show up. Because sometimes they forget. You see, before when I just talk to them on the phone, when they hang up, they forget. Like, why am I meeting with you tomorrow at three o'clock? So this helps to reinforce, you know, give them uh, the benefits one more time to remind them that this is the reason why we are meeting at three o'clock. And number three, uh, we tend to get more. Uh, so, for example, uh, last year our average commission is about six and a half percent. And this year we are actually going to 7% on a listing side. 
and the average agent in my marketplace are charging about four, four and a half percent, right? So we, we actually get paid two, two and a half percent more than the average agent in the area. Can you share perhaps some numbers before you use the convert ultimate converter and after? Yeah, we signed seven out of 10 people that we sign up now. But when I start to use this, that's when I stop, stop showing up in a, in appointment. So I've been using this since day one. Uh, I, I, I saw this at a super conference and I, I, I think I'm one of the first people who signed up. <laughs> you were, yes, absolutely. You have to ask yourself, do you want to build a business? Do you want to build your team, uh, be people dependent or system dependent, right? Because if your team is people dependent, that means you're relying on one or two superstar in your team. Then the question that you need to ask yourself is what if they quit? What if that superstar quit your team right now, tomorrow? Then your whole business collapsed, right? So you, because now you're dependent on that person. Just kind of like McDonald's. The reason I like this is it's kind of like McDonald's, you know. McDonald's is not people dependent. Any high school kids can, 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 can produce the hamburger. So same thing with this, right? So as long as we have decent people, average people can produce outstanding results. It's because it's system dependent. It's versus people dependent. So yeah, so I'd say... If, you, if you're serious building a team, there is no option about it because this is the only way to make it not dependent on people. Do you follow or does your inside salesperson follow up with the prospect to see if they've looked at it before the appointment? Do they ever call them up and say, hey, you haven't, uh, have you taken a look at it? Uh, this was going to... This is a lot of good information yeah. here. It's going to save you time. Yeah. Uh, you're going to, so do, you, do, do they do any follow-up with that? So there's two things going on, Chad. The first thing we need to do, we need to add defy the email. Uh, add defy means you, know, you, you need to speak highly of the email. Basically, we are, we are selling the email, saying something along like, hey, John, uh, it's important before we meet next week at 3 o'clock, make sure you go over your uh, customized home selling information package uh, online. In it, you'll find out how you're going to sell your home for more money. And then one day before the actual appointment, then we, then we just have to send them another reminder that uh, this is all done by telephone. Instead, instead, when, when we call them, instead of saying, hey, this is just to confirm my appointment tomorrow with you, instead of saying that, we say something like, hey, John, I've prepared. So, for example, if it's a buyer's appointment, then I've prepared the list of homes. Uh, I just want to make sure you're uh, – you're looking at 500,000 to 550 homes in Alhambra and San Gabriel. Oh, by the way, have you had a chance to go over the information that we send you online? All right. So, uh, yeah, so we, we do it twice at the beginning, uh, just, be, you know, just right after the phone, we, we speak highly of the, we, we basically, we are selling the, the importance of the package. And then, uh, just before the appointments, then again, we just have to remind them, uh, that, Hey, it's important. In fact, sometimes we even go a step further saying that uh, if you don't have time to go over the package online, uh, let me know. Then maybe we, we have to reschedule the appointments to a day before. And on the buy side, you do the same yeah. thing? Same, same idea, yes. And you also send out the recruiting converter. When do you use this and what sort of results have you uh, gotten? And, and this is important for team leaders such as yourself who are building a team. For my recruiting shy, I do two ways. The first, the first way I just, so I have an email of all the agents in my marketplace that I want to, you know, I just want to introduce them to my team that I want to recruit. And the second way I do is I bring them to a live seminar. So once a month, I'm doing a workshop that I'm basically is a backstage tour of my team, right? So people can see what's going on. Now, if they like what they see, if they want to apply to join the team, either through the email blast or to a live seminars, if they want to, so when they raise their hands and they want to apply, then they're going to raise, before I meet with them one, so you have to remember, the setup is they meet in a group setting, right? So before they meet one-on-one -on -one with me, then they have to go through one of these. So for example, they go to a live seminar uh, on Monday. Uh, when they show up on Monday, they like what they see, they want to apply for more information or they want to apply one-on-one. -on -one. And then, just when we book that appointment, it's kind of like the same what we talk about buyers and sellers, right? Hey, yeah, looking forward to seeing you tomorrow at three o'clock. And then they receive this as well. So they have to watch it. If they don't watch it, then, then again, we have to 
reschedule the, the appointments. I won't, I won't talk to person one-on-one if, if they don't watch this. If they don't watch this, I have to repeat the whole thing for again, number one. So it's the same information that's, uh, that's already available here. I have to redo the whole thing again. So it takes a lot of my time, right? It takes about more than an hour just trying to figure out, you know, just, just trying to explain to them how the team system works, number one. Number two, when they watch this, not only it saves my time and their time, so if they don't like it, then they don't need to come, right? So, and same thing with me. But then the second thing is that now it's again, it's they are pre, they're being pre-sold. So by the time they meet with me one-on-one, uh, usually my typical conversation with them is less than 15 minutes. It's very straight to the point because, you know, it, they already pre-sold. So when they come in, I, I only, I, I ask them, have you watched the information? They say yes. And then I simply ask, what's the three things that you like the most? So I never actually recruit people. They actually recruit themselves. Basically, they sold. Now, Rudy, as we wind down our, our podcast, and I appreciate, again, your time today and sharing with us your best practices and your experiences, what are some final thoughts or recommendations that you would make? Well, you have to use it, especially if you truly want to build a business, right, duplicatable, then this, there is no option. This is a required because, like I mentioned, you want to build a system and you don't want to depend on – you may get lucky – uh, now you may have one or two superstar in your team, but uh, you can't do it like that, right? So, for example, in my team now, Shai, I have uh, we have 25 outside salespeople and we have three inside salespeople in the team. So, and I just want to make sure that everybody is sending out the same message. So this is critical. Like there is no option about this. It's a must have, and I'm glad you keep on improving that. It's part of the system. And it's really something that you would need to implement in order to, to be successful. Yeah, think about it, right, Shai? If I don't have this, that means I have to be that good. That means every time I meet a buyers or sellers or uh, recruits to join my team, I have to be that good. I have to be, I have to be a super, you know, like I have to be a super good salesperson, salesman all the time. Versus this way, I know they're getting the same consistent message 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It's not depending on me, not on my mood, on my weather, you know, or my outside sales team members. It's not people dependent. So, uh, yeah, I, uh, I don't know what else to say. You, if, you have, if you don't have it, you gotta, <laughs> it's, a, it's a must have, right? Because otherwise, you have to be engaged and good all the time. And for me, I just want to be like McDonald's, you know, meaning, you know, we... Uh, ordinary people average how can an average people uh, produce extraordinary results so we have to have to, we have to be we have to have a really really good system and this is just one of the elements to pre-sell them so that way you don't have to sell them right because if they already pre-sold then then you're done well rudy i really appreciate your time today thank you i know you have a busy schedule to share your experience and to share your best practices. So again, thank you very much, and I appreciate you being on with us today. All right, Shai, thank you so much. Make it a great day.